Hi, it's meteorologist Joe Fury in the Storm Team 8 Weather Center. Last day of May, a record-breaking hot day. Yes, the month of May coming in about a degree above average at the shoreline and over three degrees, actually almost four degrees above average across the interior, eastern and southern areas. You're pretty dry. Northern and western areas, a little bit wetter in May. And so some of the hottest temperatures in the entire nation were found on Connecticut's beaches today. How about that? 95 at New Haven, 93 for a record high at Sikorsky. Look at New London at 93 during the course of this afternoon, 94 at Hartford, 93 at Meriden, Chester on the River at 95. But the temperature dropped 20 to 30 degrees in the course of about 30 minutes. And therefore, we're in the 50s going into early on the first morning of June and the first day of June, the afternoon, it may have a hard time getting out of the 60s. So 90s to end the month of May on Tuesday. And we're talking about highs on Wednesday, the first day of June that may not get out of the 60s in some towns. It's uh, maybe a little bit of sunshine, but a lot of clouds around. If the sun comes out where you are, you'll, you'll pop up around and over 70. We'll pop some showers mid late afternoon. Showers and thunder showers uh, tomorrow evening. Uh, some of those may have some heavy rain with them. And then Thursday starts out near 60. Highs up near 80 inland. Uh, we'll say upper 60s, low 70s at the coast. Overall, the, during the day, Thursday is fine. It'll be Thursday night. It's warm after midnight. Some showers roll through. Wet start Friday. Then some sun comes out in the afternoon, 70s. And yeah, it looks like spectacular weather for the first weekend of June. Saturday's highs in the 70s, overnight lows in the 50s, bright, beautiful, great feel, lots of outdoor events going on for this uh, weekend, and Mother Nature is going to cooperate nicely with those temperatures that are up there in uh, the 70s. Uh, the average high, by the way, uh, for uh, this first weekend of June is in the mid-70s, so the temperature is actually right where it should be, 70s next week, and 90s? will not happen again, at least not in the first half of June. Uh, so we'll say goodbye to big time summertime weather as we start meteorological summer on Wednesday, in addition to the start of the hurricane season. All right, Gil Simmons in first thing on Wednesday morning with the very latest update, and I hope you're feeling well. Bye.